This is the F-106, my favorite airplane. I took this photo as my wingman and I were flying off of Okinawa. We were based in South Korea and we were ready to do battle with MiGs from North Korea. I'm Bruce Gordon and today I'm going to talk about one fighter maneuver, the rudder reversal, and how I use it in the F-106 and later in the F-100 in Vietnam. The F-106 was designed as an interceptor to be used against bombers. We didn't think of using it for fighters, but as we used the F-106 more, we discovered it was highly maneuverable, and the energy maneuverability curve showed that it was very close to the Russian MiG-21 fighter that was against us in Vietnam. In 1967, the Air Force sent four F-106s and six pilots from the 94th Fighter and Interceptor Squadron in Michigan to Nellis Air Force Base to give the F-4 instructor pilots experience in flying against something similar to the MiG-21. We F-106 pilots had no experience in air-to-air -air combat, so they showed us two movies about fighter tactics and then sent us out to do battle with the instructors flying F-4s at Nellis. During the first week, the F-4 instructors with all our experience ate us alive. But after the first week, we began to learn how to fly the airplane. And suddenly, we were winning most of the engagements. Many fighters can do a rudder reversal, but the F-106's Delta Wing was ideal for it and the F-4s could not follow us through the maneuver. You do the rudder reversal when the enemy is close behind you and pulling for a gun kill. You're pulling hard, as hard G's as you can. You feed in your top rudder. The airplane rotates upward. The delta wing goes side hard against the airflow, and the enemy passes right behind you. He can't slow down fast enough. You continue on over the roll, and you are now behind him. He is now going fast, and you're going much slower, but at least you're behind him now. You enter the rotor reversal at maybe 450 knots in full afterburner, but as you pull up and it rotates through the 12 o'clock position, your airspeed bleeds off so fast that in seconds you're down to around 200 knots, very close to a stall. With a nose high, low air speed, stick back, and a hard rudder, your F-106 was ready for a spin. But the F-106 was an honest airplane, and most of us made it safely. We did lose two F-106s in flat spins from this, but by golly, it would put you on the tail of your enemy. I became an instructor in the F-106 and took it to Korea. After Korea, though, I was assigned to the F-100 and went to Vietnam. This is a photo I took of my wingman as we were flying a strike mission out of Phan Rang in South Vietnam. On one mission, I had a two-seat F-100, and my backseater was a Navy exchange pilot. After we went out and dropped our bombs and were heading back home, we had plenty of fuel. So I decided to show the Navy exchange pilot how the Air Force pilots fly fighter tactics. My wingman was a young lieutenant and I thought I'd teach him a thing or two also. I told him to drop in trail and try to track me as I went through a maneuver to escape from him. I put the plane into a hard left turn. As I was at full afterburner, I pulled back on the stick, fed in top rudder, and pulled her up to the top in the rudder reversal. As I was about halfway through the rudder reversal, I could feel the F-100 getting squirrely on me and realized I was about to lose control of the plane. I eased up on the control pressures and continued the rudder roll and ended up rolling out right on the tail of my wingman in perfect gun kill position. When we were safely back on the ground, my wingman said he was tracking me and then suddenly I pulled up and disappeared and reappeared right behind him in tracking position. 
the Navy pilot was highly impressed too with the maneuverability of the F-100. I didn't tell them how close I was to losing control of the airplane, entering a spin, losing the airplane, and causing the two of us to bail out over the enemy-infested jungles of Vietnam. The rotor reversal was dangerous in the F-106, but too damn dangerous in the F-100. I never tried it again, but at least I had shown the spirit of attack.